Dear colleagues, this is FICO emulsification of an intumescent cataract. It is often said that you need a femto or a gypto for capsular axis in cases of intumescent cataracts, but it is not so. Please watch this surgery. By this time, in this case, the main incision and two side ports have been made. And now I am going to inject an air bubble and underneath this air bubble I am going to inject tripan blue dye and here goes the dye. This dye will stain the anterior capsule nicely and it will facilitate in capsular excess. The dye is washed out after 5-6 seconds and now in this case I am going to use face coat plus HPMC. This is called modified soft shell technique. This is viscoat and just over the anterior capsule that is beneath this viscoat this is SPMC. This SPMC pushes the chondroitin sulfate upward viscoat upward and this is this protects the corneal endothelium in a much better way. Now the anterior capsule has been incised and see some fluid came out. And now this is a small rexis at this time. And now I am going to remove some cortical lens matter through this opening and reduce the intralenticular pressure. This is uh, 23 Gauss Simco cannula. You can use bimanual IA also for removal of some cortex and this that will reduce the intralenticular pressure. And once the intralenticular pressure is reduced, you inject viscoelastic substance again and enlarge these small rexes into an optimum sized one. This is enough. Enough of cortex has been aspirated from different points. And now hydroxypropyl methyl cellulose is injected. Now a vena scissor is taken and a small cut is made here. Now I hold this capsular tag with uterita again and do this small rex do this adequate sized rexes and if you can do rexes like this you will not need femto or gypto in case of intumescent cataracts that's it now in this case the nucleus is not very hard it is say grade 3 nuclear sclerosis or grade 2 plus nuclear sclerosis. So in intumescent cataracts the hardness of the nucleus varies from very soft to very hard. See in this case I am going to do direct job see how it is being done. The nucleus is pushed little downward and I engage the tip and chop it like this. The nucleus is rotated, it is held at another place and it is chopped. This free nuclear fragment is emulsified and removed. Now I rotate the nucleus again, chop at another place. And this nuclear fragment is emulsified and removed the last bit of nucleus is removed while the chopper is taken out of the anterior chamber. That's it. The nucleus is managed. Now in this case some cortex is there 
viscoelastic substance is injected and I'm going to use a 23 gauze Simco cannula to remove this cortical matter. You can use by manual IA if you like it. The reason I use Simco cannula is it works very fast in my hands. And now after cleaning the cortical matter you see that there's some cortical some cortex or some lens fibers are sticking to the posterior capsule. Now in this case is what I do is I do hydropolish. By hydropolish I mean I use the irrigating jets of fluid from the irrigating probe of bimanual IA for polishing the posterior capsule like this. The capsule is not even touched. From a distance the fluid jet is directed over the posterior capsule. And see in this case the cells which are just in front of the main incision is getting dislodged now. That's it. Polishing is done. Now in this case we have selected a hydrophilic acrylic intraocular lens and it is being implanted keeping the antechamber formed under irrigation. Here it is. The irrigating probe supports the anterior surface of the optic of the intraocular lens and it places the haptics in the equatorial region of the capsular bag. And now in this case lot of viscoat is sticking to the posterior capsule and the Simco is the best instrument to remove that from the corneal endothelium. If we flush BSS through the aspirating port of Simco cannula, it goes and gently removes this viscoat like this. You could see all the viscoat is getting displaced from the corneal endothelium and it is coming out. You can see some cortex at 5 o'clock and it is here, it is being removed. That's it. The case is done. Thank you very much for watching. Hope this video will help you in developing your surgical skills.